Hi, my name's Chris, uh, driver of the clown car. Uh, happy to be back here, actually. Uh, I, I know a couple of you have talked to you into uh, versions of this in the past, but uh, just wanted to get a quick pulse. How many of you have uh, been and seen versions of this presentation before? What, okay, just you. Well, it's great. Um, it's weird because <laughs> as much as I do presentations like this, every week I have to do this thing. It, it's, it, there's so much new stuff that comes out, it's staggering sometimes. And it's a little bit crazy to keep up with. So my point is that I believe this is going to be on some USB drives you're going to get mailed to. It's probably a little out of date. And so if you want the latest and greatest, I've updated slides uh, two or three days ago to this. Give me your card and we'll get you hooked up. So I'm sorry. All right. Okay. I will look for that later. Boy, global cyber crime in the hacker mind. What a sensationalist topic that is, huh? Say by the Geraldo Rivera or Fox News or something. The jokes don't get any better, folks. You might as well get out now. <laughs> they don't hire me for humor, has head quick, thankfully. Right. Um, yeah, man. I actually did a gig once. I uh, I didn't know I knew the address was in Manhattan, right? But I didn't know exactly what the venue was. I was speaking on compliance. It was at Caroline's Comedy Club. <laughs> I had to follow. Not one, not two, but three comedians. And the only thing I could say after that was, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> you, you don't want to talk to blinds after three good comedians. So. so it was interesting, but it was a lot of fun, though, just the same. OK, so I got to ask this first up. Okay. Uh, government, main government, healthcare? OK, a lot. Rock and roll. Education? OK, commercial business? Tired of answering this question? <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm hitting tomorrow. First things first, not everything you're going to see here today is freely available on the web, it's freely available at Barnes Noble, it's freely available on any number of sites, publications, so forth and so on. Use it for good, not for evil. If you're part of the Legion of Doom or the Empire or the Klingons or something like that, I'll, I'll turn around, I'll close my eyes. If you got to leave, I can stand. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh, force some good here. So great, good stuff. Let me get started, okay? This is IC3. IC3 is the, uh, the Internet Crime Complaint Center. Anybody familiar with this? All right, yeah, familiar with it. Okay, cool. Um, wait, 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 put up one on there. What's that? Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, so. Oh, we actually have somebody that's part of the statistic. In a crime complaint center, this is where uh, if you have an incident and you are uh, you know, worried about it, you might be compromised. Well, there's a point where you're probably going to want to contact law enforcement. This is one way to do it. I see you can go up and report an incident, find resources to help you out, so forth and so on. Of course, if you have something that's immediate, life threatening, like for example, somebody hacks into a uh, blood type database and changes the blood types, which actually has happened in this actual case, then uh, that is a, a, you want to call your local FBI or Secret Service, or your, if your metropolitan area has uh, a forensics and incident management uh, organization, some do, some don't, you want to call them. So keep those numbers handy. But for less serious stuff, you can go actually create a and find some resources. So, I'm not big on statistics per se, but I, mean, I like these because they come straight from the FBI, right? This is, this is where they, they find that information. So, by the numbers, okay? 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, okay? 275,000 incidents in 2008 were reported. 2009, 336, okay? 265 million dollars in losses, 560 million dollars in 2009. What does that tell you? Any, what's that? Going for the money. Going for the money. What do you have to do to make money? You have to have money to make money. Right? Cyber criminal organizations. Wherewithal. Ability to hire. Right? It's a great scam to get into. Information trading, identity theft. 
great way to get into your business. It's a lot less threatening than, say, drug running or extortion or something like that because you can hide behind the ones and zeros. So you can do this all the way across the world and no one will ever know. What this doesn't tell you is that in these, this particular statistic, one, this is what was reported, right? So you have to think that there's a certain percentage, probably much greater than this, that's not reported on a daily basis. And two, most of this stuff happened in the second half of 2009. So a lot more organizations were worth of got in the game through the hat and the ring. Just a little bit of trivia. About 17% of the scams actually use the FBI's name to try and intimidate folks and say, hey, your account's been compromised. Uh, many of them actually used uh, <laughs> the director of the FBI, Robert Mueller, like you would you know, call somebody at random or, or email somebody, hey, you've been hacked. Come on, that's a little funny. All right. So, like he's got other things, he doesn't have other things to deal with, right? So, most of that stuff deals with identity theft and uh, not as long as virtual based or opinion, right? ACH fraud, things like that. Okay. Time to play a little family feud here. Top three answers on the board here is the question who is in the lead in terms of cities in the world uh, for malware distribution? So much. What do we got? Seoul, Korea. Okay. Okay. Where else? Any other guesses? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Getting closer. Taiwan. Russia. United States. Asia. Before I really reveal the answer, how many people thought Richard Dawson was pretty cool in family? Right? <laughs> it's all, it was all about Dawson. All right. Who's too young to remember where to Don't answer that for me. Okay. The winner is Shaoxing China with 21.3% of all malware originating out of there. That's traceable. Runners up are Taipei and London. By nation, we're looking at China, Romania, and the USA. Who don't you see them? Yeah, Russia. Very interesting. Very interesting. I think, in my opinion is, when you look at this kind of statistic here, a lot of the actual <coughs> work is done outside of the United States because of extradition laws and so forth and so on. But a lot of the actual portals to distribute this stuff, USA, Probably, if you looked at this and kind of combined them, USA would probably be somewhere a little bit higher. So, because um, they'll be working with other organizations outside of the United States. So, there you go. Good guesses. All right. I want to show you an actual scam, okay? This is, uh, was actually out there. There's several scams that are out there like it. This is an actual shot. It was created by, it was uh, found by McAfee Incorporated's work labs. A friend of mine showed this to me. Very interesting. This is a screenshot of uh, some bank accounts. And the alleged uh, seller of this was either an organization or an individual known as Lonely Wolf. And uh, they, he or they, or she, were selling bank accounts online. So what you see here is you see Bank of America, WAMU, uh, uh, boy, uh, all over the world really, um, France, Spain, UK. What you see here is the actual amount that's in those accounts at any given moment. It's a live thing. It's a live thing. Update, right? They weren't actually draining the accounts. They were selling access to the accounts at a discount. For example, the prices, a WAMU account, about 14 grand in it. You can have it for $920. See that UK? If you want to go for pounds, roughly 1310 US, 850 euros, 100 pounds, something like that. Best part, the money isn't in there that it says on the website. By the time you buy, you get your money back. Their competition was offering half plus 10%. Good deal, huh? So that's what we're up against, okay? One of the many layers. A lot of money to be made in selling information and trading information. 